It takes a strong, intelligent man to realise his dreams and achieve his goals in life and love. A man that is not afraid to live life to its fullest and embrace what is truly important. But enough about me. I'm here to talk about Michael and Kate, two people who have come together to form a union that will surely last a lifetime. Now I first met Kate when she was three years old and it took about 10 seconds for her to rip my heart out of my chest, imprint her name on it, put it back and keep it there from that point onwards. She has been the cause of lots of the greatest happiness in my life and also some of the greatest terrors in my life. And there was a short period when she discovered what I would like to term as her BBC period. Boys, booze and clubbing. And then of course, Michael. Michael arrived on the scene in a night I don't think any of us are ever going to forget. We are in our house lovers of real ale, so Michael announces himself as a kindred spirit and a fellow beer drinker and then goes on to tell me that the only beer that he ever drinks is Castlemaine 4X Australian Lager. I didn't throw him out of the house. Yeah. <laughs> it was a yeah. dark time, it really it was. was. A dark time. <laughs> he has since redeemed himself and you'll notice now he's drinking proper beer. <laughs> Kate, you just look absolutely stunning. Um, I'm, yeah, I'm just overwhelmed, to be honest with you, I really am. And thank you to Mum, Dad, Kerry, Tim, the boys, Chris, Jay, everybody who's been really, really helped us out. From this day forward, I promise to love and honour you. I promise to love and honour you. To encourage and support you. To encourage and support you. To share all things in life with you. To share all things in life with you. And to never take for granted. And to never take for granted. The happiness you bring me. The happiness that you bring me. Ladies and gentlemen, will you kindly rise to see Mr. and Mrs. Old? Here you come. Ladies and gentlemen, the moment you have all been waiting for, the best man will now commence the character assassination of the bridegroom. <laughs> Now traditionally, I am supposed to use this opportunity to recall embarrassing moments to ridicule Mitch, but as he was very kind to me last year at my wedding, I think it'd be unfair of me to mention his love of Phil Collins, his irrational fear of ghosts, his poor judgement when it comes to gambling on a fart, and how much he really does love a cheese sandwich. <laughs> Also, I'd like to say a big thank you to Austin and Finley. You guys are amazing, and without you, we really couldn't have had a wedding today. And on this wonderful day when the stars have aligned, the weather gods have smiled upon us, it really is wonderful 
to be here with all of you very special and lovely people to celebrate their most special and lovely day. Could I now please ask you all to rise and to drink to the health, the love and the happiness of the bride and groom. The bride and groom. <laughs>